And in this last part of the lesson, I just want to show you how contour lines can manipulate your perspective and your perception. Here we have a circle. We've talked about this in class before too. We talked about the cross contour lines and how they have to go around and show the shape. So they're in the same form as the shape of the item that you're drawing. When you have a very flat, straight cross or a straight line across here, cross contour line, it does not really properly show the shape. We've also done it that we've manipulated the different shapes. You'll remember we did that with lined paper. We drew objects and then we and then we shaded in the object. Here's an example of that um, on the website in Rapid Fire Art Lesson 3. You will find if you click some of the links in there, you'll find a lot of these different shapes. Shapes, the same type of thing as we did with our um, shape exercises when we worked in uh, the elements of design at the very beginning of this course. And then finally, here's a ball turned into a cylinder. So you can change a flat round shape into three different things. Um, curve your line near the edge of the object to create the illusion that there is more on the other side. So you see that here, I'm curving it very close and going right along the edge here, and that creates the illusion that it goes all the way around, that there's more on the other side. Draw these three shapes, three circles, and manipulate them in three different ways in your sketchbook. And then finally, the practice for this. If you're in the O class, you're going to draw four items in 3D. If you're in the M class, you're going to draw 10 items in 3D in your sketchbook. So first of all, use the method in the lesson previous to this to make sure the drawing is proportionate. Again, step one is the overall structure. Is it a circle? Is it a rectangle? What space does the object take? Then you draw in the secondary shapes, and then finally you define the subject. It was shown in the previous lesson with the pepper mill, and you all practiced a little bit with that in yesterday's uh, class. Second thing, use the contour lines and connecting lines to create depth. So if you are drawing in perspective, you're drawing a square, and you want to change that into a three-dimensional shape, you're going to duplicate that same square, connect the lines, and then um, and that will create depth. If you were drawing an irregular shape, like the ball up in the top here, then you are going to use cross contour lines to do that. And then number three, shade the item. So again, if you're in the O class, you're gonna do this for four different items. If you're in the M class, you're gonna do this to 10 different items. This will be the lesson for today, and this is also the lesson for our next class. So it's a two class lesson. Thank you.